to be with Laura, the curator here at the Payne Art Center and Gardens, um, to tell us a little bit about their current exhibit, William Merritt Chase Family Portrait. And he was a remarkable artist. He was extremely versatile. He was active in the late 19th, early 20th centuries, and very much a household name in the art world during his lifetime. He was active in New York. And he was not only a portrait painter, but he also painted impressionist landscapes, still life paintings, interiors, but he was probably the most successful and famous portrait painter working during his lifetime in the United States. And so when he was not painting portraits on commission for clients and kind of important dignitaries and politicians and celebrities, he was painting his family. Members. And so what we decided to do, we were inspired by the Payne's portrait of Kodo, and we brought together her siblings and her parents, so two self-portraits of the artist and about five paintings of his wife, Alice, um, from various periods, and then portraits of six of the Chase children. So it's a really exciting family reunion, so to speak, and it's the first time these family portraits have ever been brought together. We organized this exhibition ourselves, and using Kodo as our inspiration, brought in loans from all across the country, from as far away as Texas and California and New York, to as nearby as Indianapolis and Iowa and some other Midwest. Sure. This is one of my very favorite paintings in the exhibition and a lot of fan favorites as well. Um, a lot of visitors really love this piece. It's called Self Portrait in the Studio and it dates from 1916. So it's, um, it was painted the last year of Chase's life. It's one of Chase's most famous portraits. It's of his daughter, Alice, and it's titled The Open Japanese Book. And it's his daughter Alice in her early teen teenage years, so it's painted about 1900, and she's holding a book of Japanese prints, and it's very cleverly kind of opening and cascading onto the floor, which gives a nice sense of, of depth to the painting. Um, Chase was very much inspired by Japanese art, so you definitely get a sense of that in this portrait, where she wears a kimono and holds the book of Japanese prints. They would lend to the exhibition. She comes to us from the Indianapolis Museum of Art and is a key highlight of their collection. They have quite a few paintings by Chase, but this is always the one that's on permanent view because it's absolutely spectacular. It's another full-length portrait, um, this time of his third daughter, Dorothy Raymond Chase, when she was about 10 or 11 years old. So it's painted in 1902, and she has this wonderful white dress and Mexican hat on and a terrific pose. Um, she has that sense of confidence that he was so known for, but also very charming as well, and shows that they were very much a kind of middle class, um, upper middle class family. But we did produce a beautiful publication. It's an exhibition catalog documenting the exhibition with essays about the family portraits and each and every piece in this gallery. Um, that you'll see is reproduced in color in the catalog. So it's a great keepsake that keeps it around a little bit longer.